Thank you for tuning in to TalkWad.com, the world's fastest growing internet radio network. Please check out all the other great shows on www.talkwad.com. Hi, this is Papa, and and this is for the Ain't That Some Shh radio show. Uh, my co-host, uh, Nene, will be here shortly. She's just running a little bit late. You know about black people, how we run late all the time. Anyways, though, um, you know, there's a lot going on uh, this year, uh, especially early in this year. It's moving pretty fast, actually, uh, with, with politics. You know, there was the... Uh, inauguration parade yesterday uh on mlk day uh to sports with the super bowl uh between the 49ers and the ravens and either way you look at it history is going to be made there because either you're going to have a team win their their sixth uh super bowl ring and i think that'll tie them with the oakland raiders i think another team from cali and uh either that or um ray lewis is going to go out with a bang no he's going to go out with a ring uh and of course uh, if you've been updated, there's been a lot going on with me personally. I've been uh, teaching myself music theory, and I'm actually uh, getting to the point now where, you know, everything's coming naturally to me. It's coming a lot easier. I got a few things that I need to go over, and then uh, pretty soon uh, I should be back to writing music again, and I'll probably be able to um, share some of my knowledge too. I mean, it's come, it's come, the knowledge is out there, but I'll be able to break it down in a way that may help it uh, make make it easier for others to understand um uh now i guess i could do this on behalf of of nene since she's not here at the moment uh but she might she might do it when she gets here um it, of course you heard about uh westgate resorts uh she has a, a link and basically you can get like you get i think three days two nights you get so many days so many so many nights you can get have up to six from six to eight people. Um and her link is uh my fvn uh dot com uh backslash uh streets of gold and you'll be able to find information uh more information on that site. And of course you I mean it's she knows a lot more about it than I do. So she'll probably she'll probably be here and let you know. And of course the number to call in to call in if anybody wants to call in the number to call in is 727-493-2055, and that's Eric code 727-493-2055 to call in to the, the uh, now ain't that some sh- radio show. I want to give a shout out to the listeners, you know, and the viewers, those who have been watching and supporting me, not just supporting the radio show, people who have been, you know, giving me encouragement uh, in really a lot of things I've been doing. Yeah, I mean, but it, if I give a shout out to everybody who's done that, then I, I would be giving a shout out all night. And we don't really have that kind of time. So, you know, I want to give a shout out to my listeners. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the network as well. Uh, shout out to uh, Frodo and uh, Nolan Ray, the uh, CEO of the network. Uh, shout out to, you know, the other hosts uh, that, you know, they do their thing on uh, the Talk Wide Radio Network, um, and call call in. You know, don't don't be afraid to call in. You know, I don't bite. Uh, I might look like a if you see me, I might look like a werewolf, but I I really don't bite. And um, again, that number is area code seven two seven four nine three two zero five five to call in. And you know, let us know what you you think of, of what's going on. Or tell us about uh, some of the things that have been going on in your life, because you know I know there's a lot, there's a lot uh, to talk about, you know, or there's a lot to share. Uh, if you, I know some people are introvert, so you know I understand that too. But you know, um, you know, you you can take this opportunity to vent some of the the things that kind of make you shake your head, but you can also use this as an opportunity to talk about some of the good things that have been going 
uh, on in your life, some of the things that uh, you are most looking forward to. Um, me personally, I'm looking forward to actually sitting down and, and uh, writing. Well, well, I look forward to the day where I actually complete what I started and um, learn what I, I set out to learn. Uh, I look forward to the day when I can start. Well, I, I can do it now, but when I, I can just focus on writing songs and just focus, you know, like just specifically focus on my passion instead of, um, you know, having to consult a manual and see what I could do. Basically, the manual will be an extension of myself. I look forward to being able to share uh, some of my music with, you know, with the, the people. And there's a lot of people who have heard bits and pieces, but I like to be able to, you know, put it all together and, you know, share it with, you know, some of my friends and, and some of, uh, you know, some people that I may not know, but they may have an appreciation for what I do. And uh, I also look forward to, you know, possibly meeting uh, some new people and, and networking with people. Of course, um, with the Talk Wild Radio Network, um, if you're listening and if you're in the Tampa Bay area, um, it gives you a, a good opportunity to network with people. I mean, that's what we do here. I mean, it, it, it'll give you opportunity to meet uh, a lot of people from musicians to uh, comedians. I mean, it, it's a good way to to be heard. And also, if you're interested in in getting your own time, your own uh, airtime to to share what you do, you know, is pretty decent opportunity uh here at, at talk Wild network i mean that's what we're all about we're all about uh networking and again you know i i keep giving the digits but i, I just want to make sure that you you get it it's area code 727-493-2055 to call in and you know you can let us know you know what you think of of anything from the presidential inauguration parade to what you think of what's been going on. Of course, there's some, there's always uh, gloom news. Well, it, it, we never really, I mean, me personally, I've gotten enough of it. I'm pretty sure you've gotten enough of it too. But, um, I mean, uh, there was another shooting. Uh, I, I didn't get a lot of information about it. Uh, I, I just saw it on my, on my Facebook uh, status, stat, not on my Facebook status, but on my Facebook uh, there was another sh- shooting in Texas at a university. Mm, excuse me. Um, and you know when you when you go to school, I mean, I remember. Uh, I think it was last week we were talking about when you send your children to school, um, how you should be able to send your your children to school, and they be safe, and you 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 shouldn't have to worry about things like that. That, sh- that shouldn't be uh, things that you should have to worry about. And I think the same would apply to uh, students or to to anybody, employees. I mean, you know, people are trying to make it in the world, and it's just a sad state of affairs when you know you can't even leave your home, you can't uh, go somewhere uh, without the risk of of you know some lunatic uh, going after you. I don't agree necessarily that uh, banning all the guns is uh, the solution to the problem, though, because. I mean, if, if somebody is a lunatic, if somebody is a, a killer, um, they're gonna find a, they're gonna do something else to hurt people. It's not. Uh, I remember, like people say, it's it's really not guns that hurt people. It's people that hurt people. Anything can um, hurt anybody when it's in the wrong hands. And caller, you're on on the line. Hello. Uh, hi. Hi, this is uh, Papa Diz. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, uh, you sound familiar. Are you are you my buddy from um sibling yeah. rivalry? Oh man, it's good to hear from you, man. What what's been yeah, going on going on in your life, man? Good. Uh, just a bunch of stuff dealing with life, friends, everything like that. I was just I'm just watching your show live. Yeah, man, it's good to hear from you. And um, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is my uh friend. Uh, he's he's part of a, a group sibling rivalry. And uh, this guy, this guy here, he's he's very talented. He can sing, play instruments. I mean, you you should check out. Um, give him. Why don't you give him your link, man? It's uh, youtubecom slash music. And we also have a uh, reverbnation.com slash music. See this this guy here. When I uh, first started learning music theory, I think it was back. It was it was sometime last year. 
he stayed up like I man, how late was that? Well, it's a different you in a different time zone, but you stayed was, up. It was a couple hours, wasn't it? And and he helped yeah. and he he helped and walked me like for the most part I've been teaching myself, but he helped he helped walk me through uh our learning uh music theory like whatever part whatever uh part of it I was on, uh, he actually took the time and he was patient with me, man. So that's why I, I that's why I don't mind um you know him uh, sharing this link, he, I mean, check it out. He's very talented, a very talented uh, guy. I hope we hear more from you, man. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, it was, it was like three, five something in the morning. Yeah. Three hour time difference. Yep. Yeah. And, and he was patient, man. I mean, that time, I don't, for those of you who don't know me, I'm not really a morning person. <laughs> Ain't that right, Nene? <laughs> Nene. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really a morning person. So, you know, I, I probably, me, I probably would have to do it. Sometime, you know, later during the day. But, you know, I mean, he was patient with me and everything. And, you know, for that, I appreciate well, yeah. that, man. Yeah, man, no, no problem, because I like to help people out with the music and all that. Just uh, like to connect with people and help people out. That's so actually, good, I was going to call in because you were talking about uh, the shootings and stuff. Cause I'm curious in talking about that kind of thing. But, um... Well, what what do you think? Uh, share your thoughts. Or did you hear about uh, the Texas shooting that happened? Um, it ha- had to happen recently because I saw it on my uh, on Facebook. Actually, I saw a Facebook actually, post on it. No, I have not seen the the new Texas shooting. Yeah, well, it, it was yet. it was at a college. Actually, it was at a uh, university, and I mean, and like I said, it's a sad state of affairs when you can't even. Uh, you know, go to get a, a better education to better yourself, and then you know things like that just happen. I mean, well, they don't just happen, but you know what I mean. I mean that that that's that's unfortunate, yeah. man. Yeah. Well, my comments were, um, I don't know if you've heard, but there's a lot of things coming out about possibly uh, that shooting at the school actually being completely fake. Mm. Actually, um, having it all staged and being linked to one of the Dark Knight shootings, which is why I wanted to come in and bring it up because it's it's, it's a new perspective, of, new perspective of looking at things oh. and some out there information that a lot of people are just starting now to discuss, and it's uh, kind of blowing up all over online. And they actually shut down another school in a state that. Uh, was supposedly going to be another target zone because in a, supposedly like in a Dark Knight movie, in one of the bat, uh, maps for Batman, it states the targets um, of the shootings before, they ha- before they've happened, like Sandy Hook and stuff. Mm. So it's like someone inside is leaking things before it's happening. And, uh, yeah, they actually shut down an actual name of a... I forgot what state it was and what school it was. Anyone listening, they can go look it up hmm. and try to find it. But they actually shut down a school to prepare to see if anything was was going to happen. What what can this be? What can this information be found though? Like well on the internet, well online. It could just be found over anywhere. Just uh, type in staged staged uh, shooting. Um, so there's a video, I believe. There's a really great video. There's a 30, it's about 30 minutes on YouTube that actually exposes how the whole thing was fake and all the people were actors um, because there was actually no, there's no emergency personnel. There's things like the whole thing is basically staged for the government to want to push through banning guns because they're afraid of um, its citizens at the moment right now since things are getting bad. Oh, because and, people are finding to, out the truth? Right. In order, in order to control people, you have to take away weapons. And the first person who actually invented registering guns was Hitler. If you look back in history, Hitler was the first person to do that. In every country that's ever banned, banned uh, guns always controls, pe- controls their people and puts them in camps. So I, I agree with you that guns aren't necessarily the... Banning guns won't solve anything because law-abiding citizens, you know, don't don't break those laws. No, we don't. Uh, we're, we're not the ones who are going to um, hurt people. Right. 
uh, black citizens don't do that. And I believe that the government does know that, and they, that's why they want to ban guns, because they can't just do the things that they want to without doing so, because there will be uprising in the future, and in order to win against uprising, you must take away people's weapons and forms of protection. Mm. So that, that's my comment. That we're off stage two. Okay, well, uh, is there anything else you would like to say? or? No, I mean, just for anyone out there listening, you guys should go uh, see uh, there's this. It's just a really great 30 minute video and uh, exposes everything from how people are actors to how um, there's things, things just don't add up, like medical examiner. He states that they're all shot by the wrong rifle that were in, that was, you know, that was found. But the, the problem with that is that the wrong rifle was found in the trunk of the car. It was never found inside the school, and the, the shooter supposedly died inside the school. So there's no way that the long rifle could have been used to shoot any victims. And the medical examiner is saying that every victim was shot with that weapon, which they were proven not to because the police are the ones that found the weapon in the car. Um, there's some also, also, supposedly one of the girls that was supposedly shot, she's actually not even registered in one of those classes um, for the school. And there's a photo of her with the family with Obama. So there's friends and family members and actors that basically like a whole giant movie scene. This is how it would be basically a giant movie scene because no one actually went to Sandy Hook. Everyone in the country does, didn't actually go there. No one actually really knows. I mean, it's not impossible to trick people. People are so gullible nowadays. I mean, even back then, um, you know, War of the Worlds, um, the movie was based off of a city tricking their whole town into believing that their city was under alien attack through using the radio, using the news. So it is not, it is, it's not, you know, complete, um, impossible factor to that rule, you know what I mean? Yeah, because uh, people need, People need access to information, and when you have lack of access to information, it's a lot easier to to. Uh, I mean that that goes for anything. Like when you don't know, it's easier for people to, to lie to you. Like in businesses, if if like if you go to get your car checked and you don't know anything about cars, it's easy for the car mechanic to just tell you anything because you don't know any better. Correct. So, um, I don't know if you have any questions. Uh, well, I think I, I think I'm gonna find out more information from you directly, yeah. man. Like I, I'm, I'm probably gonna watch watch it for myself and uh, see. So maybe that's something that I, I might be able to, uh, you know, come on later at a different time. Yeah. yeah, it's quite it's quite when you watch it, it's quite saddening and kind of, hmm. I mean, sickening. If that whole thing, the whole thing's really fake, just for government to try to control the people and try to ban weapons to control them and stuff. That's, it's that's really, sickening. yeah, it's not good. So that's when basically that would mark uh, the taking of weapons from the country that has the most amount of, you know, guns in it. And we don't have the highest crime rate in the world. Europe has the highest crime rate in the world and they have banned guns. So places that have z nearly zero guns are places with the highest crime rates, like you were saying. People use knives, people use other things that are even sometimes more brutal killings. So um, the taking of weapons from a country that is based on the Second Amendment, you, you, the Second Amendment states in the Constitution that you're not allowed to change it or do any, anything with it. It's the one law inside the whole Constitution that you are not allowed to change. And it's for that reason of the government overthrowing the people. Um, so when they want to take away your guns, that's basically that's like the marking of a new civil war. Whenever that happens, the all civil war always happens after that. Germany had a civil war after Hitler did that with his people. So it's just like I'm just commenting to put a thought out there to people listening that this is a possibility of our country. It's kind of crazy insane.
but yeah. it's just a factor. Well, you know, I, I, I that, you know, I appreciate your call, man. Um, if you know, this, this is something probably we should talk about, um, too, like, so I can learn more and and you know check out the sources for myself, you know, yeah. to be able to um to see for myself too. Um, if you can't find the video, I'll send it to you. Oh, cool, man. Cool. I appreciate that. So, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you for taking my call. And we and we appreciate having your call, man. We look forward to, to hearing from you in the future. All right, man. You All have right. a good night. Take care of yourself. All right. You too. All right, Carlos. I guess I just walk in the middle of something about the guns and everything happening with the schools. Um, the night we want to play, what about the president being elected in nice MLK yesterday with a lot of opportunities given into the – um, society seem like they're trying to come together on some things, whether it's guns, us coming together as a country, or different things that are happening. But don't remember everybody that whatever we do, we're accountable for. So regardless of what the government do, what decisions they make, it's all up to you what you do and don't do. Um, and also, I want to remind everybody to also view my website, FEN Net. Is it my, my I'm sorry, my FBN. Uh, oh, it's dot net. I told him dot com earlier. No, dot net at oh, um okay. Streets of Gold. I think it's backslash. I think it's my FBN dot net backslash Streets of Gold. Is that correct? That is correct. And I tried to tell him about um you know some of the the like the the vacation packages, but I don't quite understand all the information. I couldn't remember it. Yeah, all the vacations are coming up on the website. Give you opportunity, you and your family, um, go away on vacation to Orlando, Los Angeles. I'm sorry, Las Vegas, Utah, and all the different places. But you can view that on the website. Also, I want to um, also talk about one of my spiritual advisors. That um, also that um, you know, if anybody need prayer or anything like that, um, he also um, good guy. For a lot of things, and you have that number, Willer. He gave a number. He's uh, you want to get I him to advertise on don't, our show. I don't have it anymore because remember it was on my old old phone. I think. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna number. shout at that number because eventually we want him to be able to um be one of our sponsors. So I don't want to um not forget about him and allow him to take that opportunity in case he's listening. Number is 407-690-3319. That's for any family that needs, um, you know, someone to talk to, and he's, he's a pretty good guy. Listen to some of your thoughts, ideas, whatever. Um, let them know that Nancy sent you. So, um, Will, what else that I, what else you got we are focused on tonight? Well, uh, that, of course, you know, I, I did a, we did a lot of talking earlier uh, while you were gone. We covered uh, the presidential inauguration parade. Uh, we covered uh, some sports, some of the things that are, are coming up early in the year. And, you know, I, I, I just wanted to uh, give the, the viewers and the listeners an opportunity to share some of what has been going on in their lives, you know, to share some of the things that they most look forward to uh, this year. Um, and... Of course, that, that phone number uh, to call in is area code 727-493-2055. And, and I think that um, afterwards, I, I, I did talk a little bit about the shooting because it is, it is, it is unfortunate uh, that those things do happen. I mean, if it's, if it's uh, staged, it's, it's unfortunate, too, because that deception. But if people's lives are lost, that's I mean, either way you look at it, it's it's. Uh, unfortunate and then um uh I, I covered like some of the things that i've been doing and teaching my uh self and of course uh the the caller that just called in from sibling rivalry actually took some time when i first started to really help me get started actually there were a few there were a few people who helped me get started but once i got started uh i kind of uh took over and um you know there's probably a lot of people uh, who have their New Year's resolution? You're probably working on your New Year's resolutions right now, or you. Well, let's face it, you might have forgotten your New Year's resolution. I, I normally don't. Uh, I don't even bother making New Year's resolutions, but um, I I know that there has to be something that you 
you have to look forward to, you know, coming up in this year. I mean, whether it's, it's, it's new television shows or whatever, whether it's something, you know, in your own life. And, you know, if, if it's something that, you know, you're interested in sharing or maybe there's something that, that may have happened to you that you didn't appreciate, too. This could be an opportunity for you to, to vent. You got anything you'd like to share? Anything? <laughs> wow, that's interesting. All right, callers, I guess, you know, being this is our recent show, second show, um, I want to shout out to the veterans. Everybody's out there, you know, taking care of our country so that we can be here today. Again, I want to give a shout out to um, Lieutenant Loving, opportunity to meet this young man. Sad situation coming back to America, you know, to an empty house, his family gone as well as his wife. But he shared a lot of things with me. And um, it meant a lot to me to be able to help him out. And I pray that, um, you know, he's out there somewhere, all the difficult times that he was going through. And, and I was able to um, give him a hand and, you know, let him know that we had love for him and, and that we appreciate him. You know, they don't hear that enough, young, old, or rich, poor, whatever, um, to the veterans. And we appreciate you. Um, also want to give a... Another situation where, you know, that we're looking at and focusing on um, the young children in the world, the disabled ones with cancer and everything. I want to give a um, thought that everybody keep keep those, keep the children in prayer as well. You know, it's, it's difficult times for everybody, and there's a lot of stuff that's going on. But, you know, with our show being ain't that some, you know what, um, we just want to talk about things that seem like it's being looked over or people are being looked over. And that's um, life in general with some of the opportunities that's out there as we come together as a people. So I see, Will, you was talking about your friend. You guys discussing the guns issues and with him calling in. Like always, we appreciate everybody's calling in, giving your thoughts, saying what's on your mind and, you know, letting us know. Um, you can even call in and let us know how in ways we can improve, you know, the show or, you know, what's your likes and dislikes about the show. Credits, we hey, we, we take it all. So, um, again, the number is 727-493-2055. Hopefully, getting in the show and, and, and moving along, we'll be able to have some of those um, some um, viewers to come on the show some people that Willard I had been discussing with. So, um, you know, talk about some things that they're dealing with in their lives and their situations. So that'll be interesting, you know. Um, it might be inspirational, too, mm -hmm. because some of the things that they've, you know, been through and overcome, it'll right. be encouragement for, you know, some of the viewers and listeners to know that, you know, no matter what their odds are, if if they've done it, they can, too you know, they can be overcome. Well, you know, I, I want to discuss some of the funny things that you, people don't really, <laughs> people say things and I don't think they quite realize what they're saying. I had a, um, I had an individual that was in a hospital. You know, people ask the most stupidest question. I asked the patient, say, hey, what bring you here today? And he's like, well, I was driving by and I heard that you guys were serving good lunch and dinner. So the guy was like, oh, that's funny. He go, no, I'm actually serious. <laughs> You know, that's pretty interesting. You, you drive by the hospital, you come in there to eat. You well, know, see her to you, get good well, food. I don't know, though. The, uh, there was one hospital that did have decent food, and it was pretty <laughs> cheap. I mean, I, I know I know what you're saying, <laughs> but I, I've been to some hospitals that have had good food. Yeah, but you drive by to, to, to go to the hospital for food. That's interesting. But, you know, <laughs> the hospital's there. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's good. They got some cook cooks in there. You know, maybe some of the people graduated and everything, and they just went straight to the hospital. Then they asked the guy, and this the other guy, they go, oh, so what brings you here tonight? And he go, I'm sick. The guy said, what's wrong with you? He said, that's why I'm at the hospital. But you define. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they want them to do their work for him, huh? Yeah, so he's like, hey, doc, I'm here so you can find out what's wrong with me. You know, you tell me what's wrong. But, you, you know, you, you look at situation, then, we sitting down and you know you just sitting there listening to people. They talk about the privacy act, but yet they're discussing these people's life, and they they're talking about everything in front of you. So you can't help but to laugh. So this lady comes in, and she's and she's like barely walking, 
And the guy said, his, the volunteer said, hey, can I get you a wheelchair? And she said, yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> and there's no wheelchairs. He go, I got to go find one. The lady bear could walk. By the time he found a wheelchair, you know, she about fell down and everything. And one of the guys go, why don't you just get her a chair? It's right over here. But I guess volunteers are really special. So then um, it, it's amazing. You know, we you got to love all areas of everybody because everybody is funny and everybody is different. So then I was looking at TV the other day, and the doctor diagnosed a lady with cancer, and she didn't even have cancer. So, you know, then he tried to apologize. I mean, how can you apologize for something like that? But, you know, hey, that's society. We all make mistakes. Everybody's human. You know, so hopefully that she'll be able to go on and, and live a life. And Because, you know, doctors, they have, they have, they're stressed out too. So if any doctors will listen, I'm not trying to knock you. I know that, you know, you're human and you have those um, days as well. So, um, like I said, you know, it's just so much going on and so many different things is in this world that you have to, you know, face in these difficult times. So um, hopefully this show will be, not hopefully, this show will be a success as we move along and um, as we grow and get us some um Working on getting us some supporters as well as some. Oh, advertisers? Yeah, get us somebody that will actually sponsor us. They are well, yeah, and, and, and plus, you know, I, we, we understand being a new show, too. We're, we're new to radio. But I think that as we gain experience, uh, we I think we can do a better job uh, with the show, too. There's probably some things, you know, once we put our, our heads together that we can think of. It's just, you know. Sometimes life, I mean, when you're busy, um, sometimes, you know, you, you just got to roll with the punches. But, um, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Because, I mean, you come up with some good ideas sometimes. Like, the, you, hey, you came up with the title of the show. So, That's, yeah. Yeah, after, I mean, the show was basically on being able to, to discuss some, ain't that some things that, you know, yeah. that you experience. You know, like I told you, man, when I went to Jamaica, I jump out of the airport. There's these people in line, and you got this security, which is the army, and they jump out and they have these guns on you. And then the lady go, follow the line, follow the line. There's lines everywhere, so you don't know which line to follow. So they make it seem like you're stupid because you're visiting the country. <laughs> and then she comes over and they just throw all your crap on the counter. And I go, what are you looking for? And she go, don't question me. I was like, wow, you can't <laughs> question them. They got all your junk on the counter. I was like, good, no privacy. It didn't come to find out it wasn't even my suitcase. It was somebody else's suitcase. And she, I go, that ain't my stuff. She go, I told you to be quiet. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know? They so did like, sound like they like you. Man, when you go to foreign countries, you can't too much tell them you're American or anything. Oh, yeah. They, I, they I just they just assume that you, you you like everybody else. So where are you from, Jamaica Martin? <laughs> <laughs> Jamaica Martin. <laughs> Then the food so hot that you cry, and the guy comes over to bring well, my food, right? It's the type of food I would have liked. Man, this guy comes over, and he hands me the food, and it's, like, hot. I mean, like, steaming hot. I said, oh, goodness, that is really, really hot. And all of a sudden, this cockroach comes across the table, and he hits the cockroach, and he says, and throws them on the floor, and he goes, here's your food. I said, wow, you just killed my dessert. <laughs> He looks at me. I'm thinking, man, he just killed that roach and just served my food with that same hand. It's, now that's it's, it's probably different over there. <laughs> yeah, and then you got like these people that's in the hotel. Um, when you go to when you go to the, these other countries, man, you see some stuff. You like, wow. I mean, I saw this wedding, and um, <laughs> these girls was getting married, and you know they was kind of healthy women, and the guy go. Go yeah, he go um this must be the hefty wedding, and the lady go and the lady heard him and she go yeah it is it's a hefty wedding just like that and you're not invited and he go I don't want to come if you wanted me to and he's standing at the other end at the bar he's a naked bartender selling drinks and talking about the healthy women so you know you thinking wow but you know anything when you go to these other countries man it's like wow I went to Dungeon Fall and everybody had been drinking they're going to not everybody, but majority of them going up the fall, and they're like, hey, hold my hand. Let's go up the falls together. And I was like, yeah, okay. They turn to lose my hand, and I fall in the falls. You didn't think they're going to jump in and get me, right? Hmm. <laughs> so, you know, and I'm like, ain't that some? It's totally different. The hotels are different. 
the five star is really a two star, no, a one and a half star over here, you know, and the servings, and it's like crazy, just like crazy. Then you go horseback riding on a horse, and when you say, whoa, he speeds up. So I like, oh, is this horse, you know, it's like, it's so many different things you experienced. Jamaica was like the coolest country, though. Um, one of the coolest countries that, you know, I visit. Everything was no problem, Mom. They drive on the wrong side of the road. They miss trees. They And everybody get out the side of the road. You know, it's not like America. And and I'm like, how do five guys have to urinate at the same time? There's five guys side of the road urinating, happy, and they waving as we go by. Hey, it's a time saver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you got to go, you got to go. Five people at the same time, they must have hold it, man. Let's go together and wave at everybody when they go by. So, you know, you see some cool stuff You, you, you when you get an opportunity to go to different places. You'd be like, wow, it's amazing. Then we, you, and you, in transportation, it doesn't like our transportation here. You know, the guy was like, hey, you want to go to the, to the, um, no, they said, go downstairs and your ride will be here. So I'm thinking my ride will be here. What kind of ride can that be? Right. We go to the end of the hotel. A guy drives by the car already full of people, and he tells you to get in. So your face is like up against the glass. Mm. And he's like, "Oh, hold on." And I'm thinking, "Okay." And then he's picking up somebody else, and the car already full with people, and everybody had to pay him. So mm. people sitting on laps, and they driving, and the guy's like, "That I'm with." He's like, "Oh, no problem, man. I got this. I got this." We get out the car. He go, "You you got to pay him." I say, "I thought you had it, dude." <laughs> so yeah, that's their way of saying they got it. Well, yeah. different strokes for different folks. It's different. Uh, that, I know that that's probably a lot of cultural differences, though. Depending on like, like even if you travel from one state to another, like you can say something here in Florida and it be interpreted totally different uh, in another state. Like it, it's just different. That's a lot of uh, different dialects and. <laughs> yeah, because one of the um. <laughs> One of the guys was going by with the jet ski. He goes, screw you, man. He goes, I'll be right back. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, he goes, I'll be right back, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> that is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you got to watch kind of language that you use over there. So everything is a little different. So, um, <laughs> I, you know, I don't know what the outcome was. Did he wait till he come back or what? But um, that was pretty funny. Yep. And, um... I had an opportunity to go to Hawaii. <laughs> uh, these guys leaned in. This guy was trying to get his rap on with another guy. I said, excuse me, sir, can you tell me where the zoo is? And he looks back at me like, can't you see I'm trying to get my rap on? I said, yeah, can't you see I'm trying to find a zoo? He go, well, if you turn around and you look back and you walk across the street, you'll see the zoo. I said, well, obviously I didn't walk on that side of the street, so I didn't see the zoo. <laughs> Man. You know, I'm like, wow, they directions. I mean, it's really something, but it's crazy. And you got to be careful, you know. Then I guess Shaq was there. It was really cool. He said he's there drinking. And the lady comes out, she go, you know, because I'm black, I'm supposed to know who Shaq is or where he's at. You know, I ain't in security. So she asked me, she go, have you seen Shaq? I said, no, I don't even know who the dude look like. You don't know who Shakir looks <laughs> like? I said, no, I don't. So I'm standing up to this big, tall dude, his hand big and everything. Hey, my name is Shakir O'Neal. <laughs> okay. I play for the uh, Los Angeles. Who played for Los Angeles? The Lakers. The yeah, Lakers. He, he left. He betrayed my magic and played. Can you take it? He talked he, he talk like that. Mm-hmm. Like, so all the, all the girls all excited. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Shakir. I said, he ain't buying no drinks. He ain't giving no money. He ain't doing nothing. So what is so exciting about him? Everybody's at the bar. I mean, he's all that. He should be buying drinks. He should be doing this and doing that. But you know, you know, every different stroke, different folks. So you keep it moving. So, so I'll, uh, our producer letting us know we got ten minutes left. Can you dig that? I'm doing the, I'm doing the shack. <laughs> I'm doing the shack impersonation. Man, I thought you had <laughs> smoking on this stuff. <laughs> no, I ain't bringing her back from Jamaica, buddy. I'm like, what's up with this dude? <laughs> okay, all right. Jack, if you listen, man, you know it's all good. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it's, yeah, Jack got time to be listening to us. Will you freak out if he called us in and say, "I know call that would, be, that would be crazy. That would be crazy." But he wouldn't do it. Mm-hmm. He he wouldn't even be watching. Other, um, but if anybody does 
want to call in. We have 10 minutes left. And even though the number is uh it the number is on the screen, but you might be listening, you might not be watching. No, wait, no, I don't think that's even no that that is that is wow. po- no, it's possible. It is possible that you can be listening in the background. The number is area code 727-493-2055 to call in. But if you're gonna call in, um you only got nine minutes left to call in, so Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, um y- you know what's really cool? Is when you got people that don't even know about your show, and then they have there to tell somebody else about the show, and they was like, "Oh man, I didn't know about that show," but they told you everything that happened on the show. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Yeah, you that understand is, that's crazy. That is kind of yeah. People, people, funny. They're crazy like that. So well, I I met a I met a uh, somebody the other day uh, at work who I've never seen before, and they were telling me things about myself that were actually true. And I'm like, like, how do they know that? And they, they just, they said they just know. Like they can, I, I, I think they were drinking some beer or something. And I don't know if that beer like had some kind of uh truth serum, well, not truth serum, but some kind of magical potion in it or something. Mm. But they start telling me things, and it's like, dang, they were right. That was kind of crazy. I just thought about that. Maybe it's just a good guesser, man. I don't know, cause they were they were telling me accurate things. They were telling me things I was studying. Uh, they they told me what instrument. I mean, this is somebody that never met me, never seen me a day in in my. And they life. just came by your work. Yeah. And just told you that. Yeah. Oh, maybe it was a fallen angel, dude. <laughs> they just fell into your I, work I, and say, "Hey, let me stop by." And they must, They they fell into that beer. <laughs> mm. Well, you need some of that beer. They were not. They were nice. Money off that. They were <laughs> nice though. I bet you that's what he tells some of the women. Hey, girl. <laughs> let me tell your future. It's like this dude told this girl. I was sitting down at the airport, and he said, hey, I'm a psychic. And she was like, really? And she said, yeah, so what can you tell me? He said, well, I'm going to tell you this, and you can't tell nobody else, but yet everybody's listening. (laughs) Right? She said, the spirit told me to get with you tonight because you need sexual healing. She said, really? He said, yeah. She said, well, you go back and tell that spirit to screw yourself and he said, hey, hey, that's not a nice thing to say. She said, that wasn't nice what you told me. <laughs> and I'm thinking, wow, that's some crazy stuff. But people are. <laughs> Wait, where did you sit at, at on BET? Or? No, I was at the airport. And the guy, I see you addressed the lady like that. Now, that that wasn't soul playing. That was an actual real that life. That was an actual thing. And so, I was like, wow, that's some. That ain't that some. <laughs> so, when, sometimes, and, and I know this is like the way that people are. Uh, talk to each other like to complete strangers that it, it's just it, it's things I, I wouldn't say to people I know and it's like people address strangers I like talking to strangers because strangers are interesting no they, but it's the way people address strangers well sometimes you know you be thinking is these people planning this stuff is this something they know <laughs> they know somebody and see if somebody gonna come in and you know come oh in yeah on have it, it already because I'm thinking up. okay is this a setup is this he wants somebody to come in and say something it's like wow one time I seen, one time um, I was going into the supermarket, and it was Halloween, and a gorilla and the police got in a fight, and they thought there was an actual police. Everybody came running. He's like, no, 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 that, no, no, don't help me out, don't help me out. And it was, they wasn't getting ready to help him out. They was getting ready to help beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that ain't, that ain't any good. And he, and he had to tell the people, no, no, I'm not real, I'm not a policeman. I'm just, who would dress up as a policeman for Halloween? Well, that's some, you know what I'm saying. That's that's they, some. They could they could have picked the worst. Uh, they could have picked the worst costume. I'm pretty sure. Well, you know, a gorilla fighting you. And you're supposed to be a cop, and you getting the crap beaten out of you. Okay, mm. and you thinking the people to come to help you beat the gorilla, but they're coming to beat your behind. Mm. That's some cra- now. That's some stuff there. Yeah, it is. So, it is. But you know that's some ain't that's some, like I said that's the reason why I thought of the show of all the things that I've seen and you know some of the some of the customers I've seen and some of the people what they say and do and you're like wow where do these people come from and you know people have stories to to tell it's just a matter of of them calling in and you know just sharing with us that's that's pretty much it because everybody has a story to tell mm, yeah everybody man you know. So hopefully, you know, we can really get some of the funny stories and people start listening to us and be like, hey, man, that's so funny. Man, it ain't really a joke. It's, it's life. I mean, 
I used to tell people stuff. They'd be like, hey, that's funny. No, that ain't funny, dude. That's actually what happened. Well, some of the funniest things, though, I think are are sometimes uh, reality is stranger than fiction. Like, it, 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 in a lot of cases, real life things are a lot funnier. Like, I, I, I can be funny when I'm not trying to be funny. Well, according to other people, like, you know, then again, I don't really try to be funny. You know? yeah and that's- so, but uh yeah i mean it, it's we got about a, we got a few minutes left uh, about three or four minutes three minutes left and uh it's probably it's probably too late to uh make a phone call as you you know you just call it hey how you doing oh I'm doing good and, you know introduce yourself and then you know okay we gotta go so but hey, um we appreciate everybody listening or whoever listening um, thank you for viewing the show again, and hopefully as no one else, I mean, when the show go on, we have better topics, better things that people can comment on. But um, thank you, everybody, for listening. And what you got to say, Will? And I, I appreciate, you know, everybody who calls in, and, and you know, that that's very encouraging, you know, to let us know that we're reaching people, reaching the people. So, uh got to give the people. <laughs> give the people what they want. <laughs> and- Bye. <laughs> And we appreciate, uh, you know, everybody who who uh, and called in before. You know, last week we got a couple calls. We appreciate, we appreciate, we appreciate you. We appreciate everybody um, who's who's been supportive of us since we've started. Um, all all three of you. I'm just joking. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> three's better than none. Hey, got to start somewhere. Exactly. And. Uh, is there any any more thoughts to share? No, that's about it for me. But um, appreciate it. Y'all have a good night. We're out of here. Peace.